What is up, you guys? Today we are talking about 11 mood boosters for your social distancing pleasure, okay? This is kind of a fun topic. I love talking about different things to make you happy, to find joy, to find those bright spots that you can write in your gratitude practice tomorrow morning. Get it? <laughs> okay. One thing that I really, really love to do is sing and dance like a maniac by myself in my kitchen. It's so much fun. Even the dog goes on the couch to cower, but you guys, it's awesome. It's so good for your mood. It just feeds your soul. It's so much fun. I always crank out some crazy songs that I haven't heard of in ages and just dance my little heart away. It's so fun. And the best part is nobody has to see it because we're social distancing, except the people in your house. In invite them in. Make get fun. Another thing that we can always do are games. Now, if you have people at home with you, play games, breakout monopoly, Yahtzee, whatever, it's coming for you. If not, there's some really fun virtual games that you can play. I saw virtual trivia, virtual Pictionary. There's tons of different things you can do, whether you play them with other people um, in your family that aren't necessarily with you, or you get online and do it with strangers. Playing games is such a fun way to bring joy into your house. Number three is cooking, cooking and baking. You guys, I love to cook and bake. I know that not everybody does. If that's you, you're like, what? Just cross it off your list. Then you only have 10 items to bring you joy. However, I think it's fun and I love making it into like a fun competition, kind of a chopped style dinner, okay? So you pick seemingly random ingredients from your cupboard and see who can make the best dinner out of the seemingly random ingredients. It's kind of fun. Sometimes you get some weird combinations. You never know. Maybe the Elvis burger was formed that way. Do you guys know what an Elvis burger is? Phenomenal. Okay. Number, let's see, five are some really fun podcasts. There are some really fun podcasts out there. I have been absolutely loving crime and true crime and ghost story podcasts. So probably one of my favorite, I'll, I'll share two of my favorites. One is called, And That's Why We Drink. And one girl tells a true crime story and one tells a ghost story or like a haunting. And it is so much fun, you guys. I just absolutely love the podcast. And then another one that's just true crime, it's called Crime Junkie. I love it. It's like an addiction. It's so much fun. I warn you though, if you get freaked out easily, maybe don't choose this one. Next are books. How often do you have the time to read a book cover to cover like ever? maybe when you're on vacation, a couple times a year. Now, maybe you've got kids at home and you'll have to be a little bit flexible with this. But you guys, I read a book today and it's right now 1130 in the morning. So that's pretty awesome, right? How cool is that? You can read anything you want. There are tons of good books out there. Um, you probably have tons of good books at your house that are waiting to be read. I know that's what I did since we can't really go to the library or anything, but that was kind of a fun thing to do. Um, there's some also really good things on TV right now. People are knowing they're kind of pulling out the cards on their back pocket, knowing that we're trapped inside and we're watching all the good shows right now. So binge those shows right now. My husband and I are watching parks and rec and we started watching the tiger King on Netflix, which is insane and so addicting. You'll have to check it out. Another thing is learn a new joke. Okay, we need to make an effort as humans to laugh and to be funny. Little kids laugh all day, every day. If you have a three-year-old, you know they laugh all the time. And then as adults, we stop laughing. Life gets too serious. We put that, it goes by the wayside and we stop laughing. We stop having joy and bringing laughter and jokes into our lives. And we need to do that. So learn a new joke. Maybe I'll post one later. Another fun thing is crafts. It is Easter time almost and good, good spring crafts are always something fun to do. Um, so go on Pinterest, find some different things. Earlier today, I or earlier yesterday, I made a tissue paper wreath that looked like little Easter eggs. It was so cute, you guys. And it was stuff that I already had at home. 
so much fun. Um, the next thing, this is a really, really important, maybe the most important one, the next two are really good, um, is get outside and get some exercise. Get some sunshine. Today is a beautiful day. Go out and enjoy it. Sometimes it's difficult. If we're used to working out at the gym, we don't really know what to do, but you can always go on YouTube. There's tons of great videos out there, uh, or just go for a walk outside. It's going to be great. And also, speaking of walking outside in the sun, exercise is also on our list. Make sure you guys are exercising, okay? This is super important, especially if you're dealing with some mental health kind of things you're not used to, a little bit of anxiety, some increased stress from this. Make sure that you're exercising. It is the best way to boost your mood and get some serotonin and some dopamine rushing around. And then next thing, number 11, is to try something new. Maybe you want a new skill. Maybe you've always learned, wanted to learn how to knit or um, whatever. Do computer programming. It can be anything. There are tons of things to learn out there on the internet. Learn something new and have fun with it, okay? I hope this list brought you some joy and I hope you try something new and fun today. You guys have a great week and we'll see you later.